Well, you probably click here because you saw the title and tell me now, and yes, we are doing an X interview on my car. No, I'm not getting rid of this car. <laughs> it's just like I'm about to jump in the, the biggest project. And this year is remarkable for me because it's gonna be the 10 years anniversary that I moved from Brazil to US. So let's start from the beginning, right? I moved to US in 2013. I had to leave everything behind and uh, that was my choice. I wasn't forced to do it. Uh, my, my wife was living here back then. So for me, it made sense to come here instead of going there because many different reasons I will address it it's at some point, but I had to leave everything behind, my family, especially my parents, my brother, uh, you know, cousins and everything in France. But I also left my hobby, which was cars. The other hobby I have is guitars. That one was easier to bring it up because <laughs> they are easy to carry, they are not expensive. Uh, so when I moved to the US, I, I was like, you know, there's no way I can get back into cars anytime soon. Long story short, I keep working, I keep my heads down, working, 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 working. Had, I always had a goal in mind. Um, and every time a Corvette drove by me when I was living here and working, that thing's like, I, I want a one at one day. I want a one. I'm gonna get one. Some people told me like, forget about it. You were an immigrant. You're never gonna get one. That was like a chip on my shoulder. Uh, even though I came from another country, um, and that's what I love about US, it's like they open the doors for you, right? Uh, I respect this country, I love this country, you know, I'm so grateful for it. Uh, fo fast forward from 2013 to 2019, I finally was in the position that I could buy a car. So I started my research, found this baby here in Texas, flew to Texas with my wife, which was Kind of a combination. A lot of people ask me why you bought this car in Texas. And, you know, I found a car. It was a good deal back then. Uh, I paid $17,000 for a 2007 Corvette with 68,000 miles on it. Right now, if you find one of those deals, jump in though, <laughs> because you're not gonna find it. Back then was in my price range. Uh, and my wife always wanna go to Texas. I told her like, hey, I found this car. Why not just jump in it in a plane? We come, get it, we have a good time in Texas and we drive back home. That's what I did. I didn't know the, you know, anything about the car. So the only thing I knew was the dealer did the dealer thing, like, you know, changing the, the oil uh, and everything. The basics, let's call the basics, right? We got the car, the car was pretty much stock the way you were seeing here, right? Uh, the only thing had, the car had was a head unit that didn't work. <laughs> The Bluetooth didn't work and had a Borla uh, axle back. That's it. Nothing else. Everything else was stock. I, I think it was well maintained. The only thing was my, my driver's seat. I don't know if it was removed before, um, but it was kind of, the, the seat belt wasn't in place. That I had to kind of fix that on the fly before driving 1500 miles. Anyway, we spent a couple of days in Dallas with some friends, and then we drove back home 1,500 miles uh, from Jersey to from Texas to Jersey, which was awesome. So, and then my journey with Corvette was about to start. That 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 was pretty much the start of everything. I didn't have any friends in the car community. I didn't know anybody, and uh, at that point, I just had a couple of videos of my Colorado on YouTube. Uh, but once I posted that video about the Corvette. People started reaching me out like, hey, uh, we have this thing going on, I wanna come by. And I started watching more stuff and I was like, dude, people normally they do stuff with the car. Why, why cannot try it the same? So that's basically like the background where I got to the, you know, mod thing. I was always a mod guy. I, I don't, I'm not afraid to touch my car. My cars for me are like, you should touch if you wanna make your car unique. That's that's what I think when I approach about like cars and my car is not different. Even though it was a Corvette for me was a big deal because I don't know if you guys know in Brazil when you were looking at the cars like this, this car is like, I don't know, it's think about yourself paying a hundred thousand dollars for a C6 base Corvette. That's how much this car cost in Brazil like when you do like, you know, 
the the conversion and everything so for me it was a big deal so i was like i was afraid to touch but when i saw people doing it i was like dude you know what i'm gonna face it so that's where uh where everything starts so i'm gonna walk you guys through here the car so you can see everything i did and uh we're gonna talk about it i know you guys want to see more of the car than me and i don't blame you <laughs> so let's let's jump in the car uh, and later we're gonna take for a ride As you saw here, was a completely stock car, chrome wheels, and everything else. So I will try to remember the things I did in order, right? First thing I always want to do on this car is changing the interior first, and that's basically what I attack first. Uh, of course, some things came later on, right? But the first thing you guys saw was the seats. Uh, the my seat was pretty beat up here and to be honest the corvette seats you guys know my opinion on it the seats they were out of my budget so i hold off on the, the on the seats the first thing i did though was here on the interior let's walk on the interior the first thing i did on this car was basically so i put a new head unit because i'm a huge huge fan of apple carplay uh, and I'm, i like music as well and this car came with a subwoofer and also uh, uh, amplifier. Here I can adjust the bass, right? This is this this system came with the car. What I did since I was changing the head unit, I changed also the center console also because my was that silver uh, thing that comes with the 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 base Corvette. So I wanted something more, uh, you know, shiny and better and so on and so forth. That's what I did. I found this Corvette at Carlisle. Huge, huge improvement so far. So far. Uh, also, the head unit is a huge improvement. You can use Apple CarPlay. By the way, everybody's asking me about my phone mount. And I can put my phone here so you can see it. There we go. The cable goes here. And then you have out CarPlay. And you have CarPlay right away. Right? Uh, this is ProClip USA mount with the cable management thing. I'll leave the link below. You should check it out. I have here on my car and also on my uh, Colorado and my wife's Murano. So you can find this thing for any car you want it. It's so clean, so nice. You definitely should, should check it out. A lot of people ask me what I use it. This is what I use it, right? So I attached that too. So my cockpit was kind of done after that because I didn't do anything else here. Besides, I put a short shifter. This shifter I bought from Pete. Pete, if you're watching Tanko, I still have it, I love it. This is the first generation of the MGW, that's why there's no the flat stick, it's not here because it's the first generation. And I think it looks great though, it looks simple, looks uh, clear. I might do the second generation down the road, but now I, I need to focus on the wide body. I also did the boot for the shifter and for the e-brake with a red stitch. I went, by the time I did this, I had in mind that I would get the C2 for red stitch, right? So this was basically the interior. Of course, I upgrade all the lights. So I start work on the interior first. I, as you guys can see here, I have aftermarket steering wheel, but this was way later. So I did the cam first. I did a bunch of stuff, but this one I brought from eBay for 300 bucks. It's, it's deep. It, no, it's not real carbon, but hey looks looks nice to me and for 200 and i think it was 270 something like it was less than 300 bucks you can, you can you can just beat this right so but this i did later also i did the gauge cluster you see here it's carbon too i found this on facebook marketplace and uh it has the entire thing uh in carbon so basically complete the entire interior i did the corvette lettering as well a lot of people ask me about that i put in new mats uh, Floyd mats and of course of course the seats right I went with the Corbel X 
And the reason why I changed, I explained already, it's because, dude, the stock seats on a Corvette. If you never try something different, unless you are going C7 and it up, it's fine, but C6 and down, get rid of it, get an aftermarket one or put a C7 seats on your car because the other ones are garbage, 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 not comfortable. Uh, you can, f you think they are comfortable until you ride into something like this, right? Of course, if you are a big dude, you're probably gonna have a hard time fitting on this Evo X. Maybe you can go with the C7 or something, right? I also did the seat belts in red. Uh, so that was like a completely overhaul of the interior. My mind was I'll take care of the interior first because that's where I spend more time on it, right? So that's why I wanna get the head unit done. That's why I wanna get like my phone mounted there. Make sure my, my uh, sound system works. I like to hear music and uh, and looks clean because that's where you're looking at it, right? Of course, I, as I said, the the steering wheel took me a while, but right now I'm so happy I can spend a lot of time here. And that's where you spend a lot of time on. That's where you are always looking at. That's your steering wheel. That's why I think if you have to do uh, mods on your car, start from the interior, and then then you go uh, do the outside thing, the perform thing. At least that's me. So let's talk about lights. First, I kept the lights stock for a while. The way you were seeing here, I just recently did because that was part of also the wide body conversion. But first, what I did, I just did LED lights everywhere. Every single place I put a LED light in the back, uh, the backup lights, my third signals, uh, and that's it. So the, the, for the front, right now I have the C7 style more remoto, but before I was, and that's all the thing I hate about the C6 though. I don't like the housing uh, color matching with the car. I was pretty vague on it, like it was terrible. So what I did, I bought new lenses and uh, I, I put apart, that was the worst project I ever did with this car. I put apart, and I painted housing black, putting new lenses on. That's what I was running for like years, like th three years to be exactly. Cause this one I just put less fall. And dude, I'll tell you what, once you change the blacking house, like it is here, I think it's just a little touch that changes completely the car. But that took me a while to do. As I said, that wasn't done right away. And also I, I got the Oracle mirrors, which this one nobody noticed, but dude, makes so much difference in this car. This was a partnership with Oracle lights. Uh, he, they wanted me to try it. So I tried it and I love it. I highly recommend if you don't have one. See, it's bright, but I like it. And I never thought about doing this, but I always had the wide body in mind. So when they reached me out, I was like, okay, Let's try it. So they sent me the, the, the mirror without paint. So I had to figure out how to paint it. And dude, this came out great. Came out great. I love it. It's going to be a huge part of the white body when it's done. So still let's talk about light. Of course, I did all the side marks with, uh, right? Also the tail lights. So I don't know if you guys remember, I had a ring going around here <laughs> that was like attached with tape. I'll put it, so that was my first modification to the stock one and I tainted also. That was just my way to try to make this car better. But now I run this that I found online. It's not Morimoto's. They are not uh, Eagle Eyes. They are just like a different. See, it's a crane show and there's this ring on it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So right now, as you can see, uh, all the lights are upgraded, everything is LED. I think it's the best you can get for C6 so far, as far as C7 or you can get the C8, but the back, uh, the tail lights as well. Oh, the fog lights are also more remotos, but I, I had my stock for a while with LED bulbs on it. So this was just like less fall that I did it. Now the car, as far as light goes, it's complete. I don't, I don't think there's anything else that I need to do as far as light goes. You can pretty much do a lot of things with your stock headlights and stock tail lights and even the stock fog lights. 
just update you know the the bulb itself and so on and so forth my plan was once the car was done uh, the interior and that took care of the lights because they were cheap that was the goal always um, I, I started thinking okay what I should do should get new wheels should get more power remember I I didn't touch a car before this one this was my first car that I really touched so I was like the paint my car had PPF all over the place like it was a PPF it still has like a I don't know if you can see there's a, a line here so there was a PPF on it so what I did, I removed the PPF because it was old, it was yellow, and I did a full paint correction on this car. Dude, I remember that took me like a week to do, but I learned it so much. I had to get the polisher, I had to get all the products, the pads, everything. I did the ceramic coat by myself, and I still, the paint looks good. Uh, that was the first and last time I did it. I didn't do again, you know what I'm saying? So. And uh, I always look at Facebook Marketplace to see if I found things. And I saw this hood. It's an entire carbon fiber hood uh, for sale. And it was painted exactly the way you saw, you're seeing here. The only thing is, where do you see this carbon? This is a wrap, right? Uh, limited is out of line to wrap this for me. But underneath, it's black. It's gloss black. So. Uh, I found this and I was like, dude, this carbon fiber hood is gonna change my car. I think I'm gonna get it. So long story short, drove two hours, pick it up, put it in my car, and here it is. It's also part of the wide body. I was putting the wide body on my car with that noticing, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a full carbon hood. It's super light. It's it's painted. That's the only thing. It's a hood, it's a carbon hood, but it's painted. The guy painted to match his car. He had the Victor Red car as well. I was like, dude, this is perfect. I don't need to worry about it. Matched perfectly, as you can see. Funny thing is, I did a light paint correction on it, but here the black underneath this is really bad. There's a lot of scratch, but I think yeah, you can just polish. We'll see when we decide what we're gonna do as far as new color for the car goes, if we're gonna keep the same color. But that's the story of the hood. Uh, the bumper is still a stock bumper. So with that out of the way, the paint and everything, I was like, dude, what can I do that I'm not gonna spend a lot of money, I'm not gonna break the banks, what can I do? So the next thing I started thinking was engine mods, right? And I'm telling you, dude, Facebook and Marketplace is the way to go. I found my headers, I found my headers on Facebook Marketplace. Those are speed engineer headers. Uh, with X pipe and Borla attack, right? The Borla came with the car, as I said, but the speed engineer I found on Facebook Marketplace. I, the guy bought it, never put it on his car, and he was moving out of state, so he was basically giving that away. I bought the entire setup with uh, both for the headers, uh, all the gaskets, everything for like 400 bucks. So that I was like, you know what? It's not gonna get any worse, it's just gonna sound better. And to be honest, I'm in love with it. I know you can get better with cooks, something, but we are talking about like four times the price I pay. I'm telling you, if you have a C6 Corvette, keep looking on Facebook Marketplace. This probably is gonna help you a lot to find good stuff. So we did headers. Uh, I had Pete and, and uh, Dave, came, they came over to help me. That was a fun project. That's when I started thinking about more mods to the engine. Until that time, everything was in stock. So we basically did everything here in my garage on my quick jacks <laughs> so i put the car on quick jacks and started just doing the we did a one in one day that was wasn't too bad it was uh, kind of easy to do but once i put the headers on i started getting a check engine light because you know you get rid of the o2 sensors so i was like you know what i don't want to get the cartoon now I might as well just do a can swap. By that time, Dave was doing, he did a can swap on his car as well, and I was kind of following pretty close because I want to see what everything involves. Remember, I never opened the engine before. The first time I touched the engine was when I, heard, I, when I did the headers here, but I started watching what Dave was doing with his. He had a couple of issues, but I was like, dude, I think I can do. So I reached out to him. He even offered to help me with it which was like, let's do it. So I started shopping for parts. I contact BTR, uh, very helpful too, if you wanna do a can swap, 
they uh, you tell what you want and they tell what you need so that's exactly how i bought the package so it was a camp swap so it was a camp swap with all the support mods on it right you guys remember that my car was apart for like a month because we find a couple of issues uh but at the end of the day we got done it's entire cam with Bolton's car now making 430 uh, 430 horsepower to the wheel dude i'm so happy that i faced this project uh took me a while it took longer than i thought but i learned so much through entire through the entire journey that i highly recommend you guys do something if you want to learn more uh, i know this is a little scare but and just recently we did some cosmetic stuff so joe helped me with uh, the covers the valve covers i painted the entire manifold and then i talked to uh csp to tune again it was just res recently uh but yeah you definitely need a tune so i kind of combined both so once the car was done as far as power goes i was like dude my wheels are not cutting anymore so i had those chrome wheels which they were terrible but i ran those for a while i even plastic those wheels in gold which i rather had the gold than the chrome that's just me <laughs> and uh, i ran that for a while stock brakes but before putting the c606 brakes i did the entire upgrade on the stocks brakes i put power stop in everything and i paint my calipers with amazon paint <laughs> i kind of have a thing for amazon uh so yeah uh, i ran that for probably like two years and last year i did the c606 brakes on it which dude i'll tell you what it's so much looks nicer performance better uh it definitely is something that you should consider to do on your car and with that with the wheels which are c70 c701 wheels a lot of people ask me about the the, the size of it the wheels are 1920 in the back a lot of people ask me it's 255 35 uh 19 the front and 305 30 20 on the back right so that's i think it's the biggest tire and wheel combo you can go on a c6 base right the, you can see the fitment it's pretty much flush with the car I also have like a five millimeter space there to clear that the caliper on the front and the back. But are those wheels, to be honest, when I saw those C701 wheels for the first time, I was like, I'm not a huge fan to be honest. But then it started growing on me. Uh, to be honest, now I don't think there's a better wheel for the C6 base. You are very limited on wheels for the C6 base though. Very, very limited. Like there's no, there's not too many options there, right? Also, my arrow kit comes from Extreme Online Store. I'll leave the link below so you guys can check it out. But you can see, I did everything by myself here in my garage. Very easy to install. The fitment, it's perfect. I don't have anything to complain about. They look great, especially the front though. Um, this is my second one. The first one, I hit a raccoon going to Carlisle. Uh, it's definitely something that you got you should consider not buying expensive one because you know it's you're gonna break uh side skirts and my rear spoiler rear, rear spoiler has uh have a story on it my car came with just with the little spoiler on it so i basically try every single spoiler you can try for a c6 base right i tried the little one then the zero one and then the last one is this one which is my favorite I think just goes well with everything right a lot of people asking about the roof this is a wrap done by limited auto lab so i asked him to do the hello in the roof my roof is a transparent roof which kind of it's good and bad because mine has a little cracks on it that's why i went with the carbon and we tried to do the same thing going on in the e pillar and the hood so that would definitely that changed the car a lot i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do now that we're gonna put the 